Welcome to another Shady Web Comics Weekly brought to you by our subscribe star backers. Donate to become a human again, a human and a pay pig, and also to learn the truth that nobody else wants you to know about. Uh, just to jump into it, uh, we wanted to spend as many episodes as possible reading through this Yakub, uh, the father of the white devil race, the Kreka race, if you will. It's by a guy on Twitter named Frank Edward, or at Smack Frank. And I'm going to even just read his tweets. Um, full short story comic, Yakub, the father of the white, ra white devil race, 22 pages. A story based on reliable historical documents about Yakub and the creation of the white race, full story and thread. This is a full comic, basically. And here's the cover. Delightful, wonderful, beautiful cover. This is what I love about indie comics. This is, the, this is what indie comics actually is. If you're making indie comics that aren't like this, you're not really making indie comics. You're making cape shit for people who can't cope with... Uh, cape shit is the worst kind of comic. Yeah, uh, cape shit is the white devil race <laughs> comics. Uh, it's, here's, uh, it's a nice, uh, apparently accurate photograph drawing lots of cross hatching but uh you know because wow. because of his his ethnicity of course uh but he has this giant head like an alien to uh contain his gigantic brain and he's holding a magnet uh he has a like some kind of sun medallion also and he's holding a book that says the book of tricknology which is <laughs> i think how he used it now when when this guy says the reliable historical documents is kind of a meme, of course, but it's about the actual uh, beliefs of like the the black Israelites and stuff that um, they believe some really dumb shit, and that's kind of what we're gonna get into. These will be short episodes. We'll be covering this over. Each tweet is four pages, so we will read at least four pages per episode. So that's what we'll be doing. Um. In fact, uh, here, I will open these in a new tab. So here's, um, again, the, the cover, but then goes to the lower panels and it says, Greetings, Dear Reader. You know what? I'll, I'll describe the, uh, the visual first. It's Baby Yakub with his gigantic Mondo Mega, Mega Mind Brain. Um, for If you really can't see the page or if you don't know what Yakub looks like, his head is literally the size of his torso. Uh, bigger. It's like that um, Aqua Teen Hunger Force episode with the, the uh, what was it, the bar dollars. Yeah, if if you weren't familiar with Yakub and the, the myth of Yakub, you at least should be familiar with Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Uh, and you should watch Aqua Teen Hunger Force as well. If you're not familiar with Aqua Teen Hunger Force, get the fuck out. What the fuck? fuck's wrong with you if you don't watch if you don't memorize at least every single episode there's a new season starting i watched the first couple episodes they're pretty decent they're totally decent <laughs> to uh to quote that um holy shit these 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 image files are huge i'll just leave them not zoomed <clears throat> anyways okay uh, again the future episodes will be much more on track we're just Getting into the swing of things. This is just to get us loose. The first 40 minutes are just to get us loose. Uh, to quote David Spade. Um, anyways, yeah. So the first uh, official panel is uh, Baby Yakub with his gigantic head. That's, again, the size of the rest of his entire body. And uh, because this is black and white, the uh, Africans here are basically colored with just a bunch of cross-hatching and lines. Not even cross-hatching. There is cross-hatching. Which but also then makes them very old. It as makes we also them know old. from comics. Actually, this guy does it right where the the sort of colorizing lines are thinner and then the facial lines like the cheekbones and the nose lines and that kind of stuff are thicker lines to differentiate. It's actually a very good important thing. This See, this is why we review these comics. This is why we read them. Not just because, like, funny comic, let's look at it for video fodder, but specifically because you can learn a lot just by looking at comics. And um, here, actually, let's go back up to the cover. You'll see his brow ridge lines are, again, thicker lines 
than a lot of these thinner lines that are meant to sort of uh, uh, express his uh, his melanation, his his color, his a uh, proud heritage. Even though Yakub, not to spoil it, but Yakub is supposed to be evil, which seems almost self defeating in the whole concept of uh, oh Yakub created the evil white race, the white devil race. And it's like, but Yakub is black, so doesn't that make well, let's not get into that. Wouldn't, wouldn't that make black the worst people ever? Whoa. Uh, according to the Yakub theory. That's that's not what we're saying. We don't think that, of course. Yeah, it's a conspiracy theory. Yeah. We are promoting a conspiracy theory that black people are not as good as white people. Yeah, that's fucking... That's it's what a this crazy comic. conspiracy it's, theory. It's not even the, the comic it, it pushing that, but it's the original theory. They're saying that. Well, whoever came up, whoever came up with Yakub, which by the way is clearly just supposed to be like Spanish pronunciation of Jacob. I I don't know how obvious that's been to everyone else, but Yakub is clearly some like like Jacob in the Bible, just pronounced like you're Mexican, which is is that even worse? I don't know. But anyways, again, the the facial line. Wait, can I go into? Yeah, let's zoom way in. But here the the brow ridge lines, the actual eyebrows, bags under the eyes here, the actual nose, the nose bridge. They're all thicker lines, and then the sort of coloration of the face here are thinner lines to differentiate. And again, for anyone who doesn't know, um, they say one of the rules, one of the most important rules of uh, specifically comic art is the more lines you draw on a face, the older that that person appears. Now, that does work here. This guy clearly has an understanding of how to not do that because when he draws the baby Yakub here, it's still babyish. And when he draws these people in the second panel, if you're looking, uh, which I do recommend for this, but if you're not looking, uh, the second uh, panel and third is, um, I think, his parents. And they look like they're about 30 because the lines all over their face uh, don't denote age. Um, it's also the way the lines are going, the, the direction the lines are going. They go sort of downwards or across in a way that uh, doesn't differentiate uh, age or like uh, wrinkles or stuff. It doesn't look like wrinkles. It looks like sort of um, a texture, which is the point. In fact, there's... um. I think his mom here, actually, there's a really good effect on her cheek here where it sort of denotes the fullness of the cheek where you can see it sort of the lines almost raising with a fullness up this way and then sort of down forward. So, um, again, a lot to learn about art just by uh, going through this. So already this is justified uh, in an artistic uh, critical analysis sense. Wonderful. But anyways, back to the uh, actual comic. The rest of this we will most likely just be reading the comic, but it's now justified fully. So, uh, first panel, first real panel of the story is Baby Yakub, and it says, Greetings, dear reader. I, your humble narrator, shall now tell you a strange, perhaps weird, story, which is sourced from uh, from reliable historical documents. It begins, I, again, That's I think that's sort of part of a joke. It probably comes from pamphlets that people in, like, New York City pass around and shit. I remember we saw one of the pamphlets once, which was, like, uh, people in, the people of Africa were, uh, or the secret 13th tribe of Israel or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, which was, um, like, the black people were the secret 13th tribe of Israel. And that's, um, it was left on the... Colony. Yeah, it was left on a table. Did we keep that? I wanted to keep that, and I think we did. I don't know. I think we took a screenshot of it, but most especially it was oh, yeah, like that's right. they were enslaved with the intention of destroying the first African nation. No other country has ever had this done to them in history. And it's like, really? Uh, no other country was enslaved in order to like politically destroy a certain sector or subsect of people. I'm pretty sure it's been done before. The word slight, the word slave comes from Slav. As in Slavic, Slav, but um, and, and even before that, there were slaves, and guess what? They weren't black. 
Also, in a way, yeah, in a way it is itself just straight up denying the Holocaust and Jews, which is uh, sort of goes with the black Israelites saying basically that uh, they say that the Holocaust never happened and they claim that sort of thing. Because Um, they're the real Jews. Yes. The real Holocaust happened to them and only them. Yes. It's sort of like the way the Jews treat it where the Holocaust is the only genocide that ever happened. There's There's never never been been another another one. one. And the Armenians are all liars. That's that's what some other people say. Again, we're going over what other people say and think. I'm just repeating what they said and asking other people to be the judge. We're just asking questions. Hey, you ever notice something? Anyways, um... I like to notice things. Oh. Wow, that sounds cool. That sounds based on a reliable source. Um... Anyways, okay, so the first panel, though, uh, finishing, it says it begins 6,600 years ago. 6,600 years ago. 66. There's a very specific reason for that number. Yeah, very very suspicious. Uh, in Mecca, when a baby boy with an abnormally large head is born, usually... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, also, this is in Mecca. Yes. Because there were Arabs, too. They're not just the first Jews, they're also the first Arabs. They're not they're also the first everything. They're also not just the real Jews, they're also the real Arabs. And the real Egyptians. Don't forget they was kings. Um but anyways, the second panel is like the mom and dad of Yakub. Um and the caption says, This baby who was given the name Yakub was the result of an adultery, a love affair between a royal crown prince and a peasant girl oh, no, shit. A royal, specifically a royal crown prince royal crown uh, well, fucking I got a, I got one of those bags I might say he was a patron <laughs> of the arts and of a peasant girl um, but here the and uh, the, the first black person's name was Jack Daniels <laughs> yes um the uh, the last panel on this page shows the guy uh, walking away, abandoning the lady and her gigantic water-headed baby. Um, so the the fucking the the smartest black person uh, ever was also abandoned by his dad. Yeah, the the fucking the beginning of the entire well, I guess not the beginning of the race. The beginning of the white race literally started with a black guy. Uh, a black child being abandoned by his dad um, but the caption says Dude, all, all the things wrong with the world today yes. can be traced back to a black child being abandoned by his dad by his black father again this this sounds like uh, th- th- we have a lot of work to go before white people become the fault of anything um, yeah, somehow, somehow white people are going to shoulder the blame for all things on earth. Yes, yet they don't even exist yet. Anyways, uh, the caption says, though, uh, due to this compromising circumstance, the young boy had to be kept a secret by the two lovers. Which, again, it's, it, that doesn't really indicate what we're looking at. What we're looking at is the, the black father leaving, but... Um, it didn't seem to be a secret up until this point i guess seems to be the opposite of a secret here's the second page and i think the implication actually is that black father didn't leave so here's um the first panel he is did, he left but he came right back yeah he 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 just went out for cigarettes and 10 minutes later he came back with cigarettes he came back with the cigarettes what were you thinking was gonna These happen? delicious cigarettes and what kind of cigarettes were there it was just completely unflavored delicious they were Deli- american just uh, regular American spirits. That's it. <laughs> N- not flavored. Just uh, Tur- a Turkish blend, perhaps, which was nearby. He, he walked to Turkey to get the Turkish blend, and that was because only ten minutes, and he came back. Because it's the Middle East. He's uh, he's Turkish too. It's sort of like uh, that uh, the making of a prophet, the M. Dickey game, where you could just walk to Abyssinia and uh, Mecca, which are just two gates right next to each other, basically. Also, kind of like um, uh, uh, Assassin's Creed. You had to be able to walk wherever you needed yeah, to get a- to. Acre and Jelus- Jerusalem were uh, right next to each other. I mean, they may have been shit. 
I've never been to either one, so I can't tell you that that's wrong. Anyways, uh, page two of the first panel. Um, the first years of Yakub's child, it's baby Yakub walking to his mom, even though he's got this gigantic head that's the size of the rest of his body. Because he's so smart that he also has perfect balance already. Yes, because he's a genius, of course. I mean, that's, that's the thing. The, the head isn't just filled with water. He's not hydrocephalic. He's got a giant brain in there. But um, the caption says, The first years of Yakub's childhood are said to have been happy. He received an abundance of love from his mother, and all his material needs were provided for by his father. Uh, second uh, panel is m the mom and dad being led away by guards while uh, upset Yakub watches from outside their yurt or whatever tiny <laughs> like round hut it's like a uh, 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 a clay igloo I believe it's literally a mud hut yes again this is this is the artist interpretation of the times and so on which I don't think this artist is necessarily a believer in the whole story it's a reference it's artistic liberty yes yes the, the uh, uh, yurt has uh, chimneys on it, but the, the chi are the chimneys casting a proper shadow? Hey, that's a whole other topic. I don't know. It has nothing to do with anything. Um, and the caption for that panel says, but it was written in the stars that this wouldn't last long, or this wouldn't last for long. One day when Yakub came home after playing by himself on the dunes, he found his parents to be arrested by the royal guard. Uh, he was only six years old when he witnessed his parents' execution for their crimes against the crown, just like, you know what, you know who is also associated with this, Liam Gray. Uh, that, it's also Liam Gray's fault. Yes. <laughs> Liam, Liam Gray, Gray the original uh, invention of Yakub. Yes, he was the first invention of Yakub. And also... um. The panel there shows the uh, the parents kneeling with an executioner next to him. The next panel shows the executioner raising a big sword, and it says, uh, And upon seeing the executioner's blade severing the head of his dear mother, he felt an emotion they had never known before. And the last one is the crying Yakub. He's got like sort of a mat of hair in the middle of the top of his head. Um... And the caption says, Yakub, up till now, an innocent child, began to hate. So he may be justified, apparently, too. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> white people don't exist yet. Who could have done this? Why? Did they? Yeah, it, exactly. It's like, you can't even blame white people for this. This isn't, this isn't white people's fault now. One might get the idea that you couldn't white, blame white people for any of the anything. things that they blame white people for. Anything. But anyways. Um, the uh, next panel is uh, apparently the king and it says uh, well it says the king to his advisory's dismay, advisor's dismay decided to spare the young boy's life he was an empathetic ruler and the king is saying my son made a grave mistake betraying his wife and the royal bloodline it's betray in and then the continued on the next line G G so just like Tails gets trolled Maybe a reference to Tales Gets Trolled. A little sly Genius. reference. Genius. Genius. Um, but as long as I'm the king, I will take care of Yakub like one of my own. My, a child should not suffer the consequences for the sins of his parents. And then the next one is Yakub uh, before no the king. No black person the, ever. Yes. Before the king and the family. And it says, uh, the caption says, Reluctantly, the royal family accepted the king's decision, even though most of them were going to treat Yakub with either indifference or annoyance. Um, we'll have to continue this. There are still a couple pages in this first tweet, but we will continue that it in the next on. episode. Oh, it goes on. Um, so, yeah, we're only a couple pages in, but uh, there's going to be plenty of delightful things to come already. It's a, a very informative, uh, uh, engrossing story. Uh, but I know it, get, it really ramps up. So uh, join us next time on the next episode. And uh, again, uh, thanks to our supporters on Subscribestar. And uh, check out our Subscribestar to uh, get uh, a bunch of our uh, big full videos. Most likely, the, a compilation of all of these episodes will have already been posted to our Subscribestar. So if you want to see all of these, if you don't want to wait, if you can't wait, uh, throughout the coming weeks 
to uh, hear through uh, all of this, uh, go to our subscribe star and donate. Uh, and for everyone else, should have listened to shitty webcomics.